Hey everyone, um, it's Eric here from the Scratch team. I'm super excited to show you how it is you can use video sensing and color detection in Scratch to create some pretty remarkable programs. Uh, so I think we should start with just uh, re-familiarizing ourselves with this notion of color detection in Scratch. So I've made a simple program here, where as you can see, if I press the right arrow key, the cat is moving to the right, and if I press the left arrow key, the cat is moving to the left. So what if we want to add some color sensing into this project? Uh, so what I'll do is I'll go to the backdrop and say we want to have the cat hit something that is red and the cat says, ow. So I click the backdrop. I'm going to go ahead and draw a shape and I'm just going to go ahead and make it a giant red circle. I'll go ahead and I'll just drop it here. Okay, now I'll go back to my scratch cat sprite. I'll go back to the scripts. And what we want to say is if the cat is touching this red blob, let's pretend it's lava, have the cat say, ow. Uh, and what we do is we'll use a sensing block for this. So we'll make a statement uh, that uses this block here, touching color. So let's go ahead and drag this out. And we can go ahead and select the color that we want to sort of interact with. So you do that by clicking this button and that will have a color picker. So you can see as I mouse over things, it's showing me the color. Go ahead, click the red. Okay, so the colors touch. Now nothing's gonna happen. We haven't really built a script yet around this, but this is sort of the magical block, if you will. Um, so let's go ahead and build a script that says uh, when touching, so when green flag is clicked. Uh, let's go ahead and make an if then statement. So if then, so if scratch cat is touching this color, let's go ahead and have scratch cat say, ow. Oh. Okay, cool. Now this isn't going to actually work if we hit and we try it. And it's not going to work because this is a question that only gets asked once. So an if then statement gets asked once and that happens immediately after uh, I hit the green flag. So what I want to do is I want to wrap this question here in a forever loop. So I'm going to forever be asking if I'm touching this color. So let's go ahead and run it again and see. Okay, cool. So we're in good shape. So we made a really simple program. Uh, here on the screen that says when Scratch Cat hits the red blob on our backdrop, say ow. Uh, objectively, that is a really useful thing to know how to do in Scratch. Um, but let's take this a step further. Wouldn't it be cool if Scratch Cat could interact with objects not on the backdrop, but sort of in the physical world? Uh, and we can do this using video sensing, which enables us to use the webcam to interact with Scratch projects. So to do this, what I'm gonna do is actually, let, let's just start with a, a white backdrop. So I'll go to my backdrops and I'll just click a white backdrop. Let's go back to our Scratch Cat um, here. Now, first things first, let's go ahead and start video sensing. And what you can do, it's really simple. We'll just run a script that says wind green flag, clicked. Let's go ahead in the sensing category, you'll see this block, turn video on. And when I click this, um, it's going to enable um, uh, video sensing, which turns on the webcam. So you can see the webcam here I have pointing down on a sheet of white paper. So um, video sensing has been enabled. And what we can do is let's use the same concept we have here. But instead of drawing anything on the backdrop, remember we, we did this. Let's go ahead and use a Lego piece that is red and see what happens. So let me go to my bin here. Let me grab a Lego and let me set it down here on our uh, little stage here. And the same concept of when touching is going to actually work here. So I will go to the right and see, okay, nothing's happening. So it looks like this red color here doesn't match the red of the Lego. So I'll go ahead and select the red of the Lego, which looks like a little bit of a darker red. Uh, and I'll go ahead and do it. And so you can see the webcam and video sensing also detects color. So no matter where I move this, um, we'll see, whoops, I can't move up yet. So uh, it's going to be able to detect it. So this is really the magic that unlocks a lot of things. And really the possibilities of what you can do are like not to be cliche, they're really endless. Uh, and so I just wanna show you here, I'll jump to like three examples of what it is you can do using, again, video sensing and color detection, this simple script that we just put together. So here's a music making program that I created. 
Uh, super simple scripts. These are all the scripts here. Uh, I just created a, a black bar that travels from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen, and that's here in this script. Uh, and when that black bar touches a Lego of a certain color, it'll play a specific note. So, you know, when it's touching a green, uh, it'll play C. When it's touching orange, it'll play E. When it's touching A, it'll play... When it's touching red, it'll play the A note. So here it is working. Uh, and then I'll just drop another note in there here. And you can see now it's starting to add notes. And really, I can it'd be unlimited. I can switch these around. And so, I don't know, it's kind of a silly project, but you can be sort of mixing music live and changing the code, and it, it's quite cool. Uh, it's a good project to sort of start playing with. So here's a project that allows you to juggle cats and dogs. <coughs> Um, and so what that's doing is I'm triggering uh, the sounds based on the color of the balloon. Uh, and there's something kind of cool about this project is actually I made a really large black sprite that takes up the entire screen. Uh, and using the ghost effect, I hid that sprite. So you can see here, ghost effect 99. I'll change it to zero so you can see what I'm talking about. This is the sprite. Uh, and so whenever I touch that, which is pretty much the whole stage, it'll trigger these sounds. But to hide the sprite, I went ahead and set the transparency of that to sort of 99. So now you see the sprite kind of looks like it disappeared, but it's really there. So whenever something touches it, look down here, it's really touching the sprite, even though it's quite hidden. Uh, and I'm using the simple scripts here, touching color, to play the sounds. So this final example I want to share with you um, is a simple platform game that I've made using video sensing. So you can see here... The green acts as like a bounce pad, the red acts as lava, so you want to avoid that, and the black is the ground. Uh, and so what I've done is I've just sort of remixed an existing platform game, and I want to point you to this code here where you can see the floor script here uh, is using when touching color, and I've selected the color of the floor by sort of mousing over and selecting that black. And that's the case for the lava and the bounce pad and etc. Anything you want to add to this. I'm going to sort of wave my hands at the rest of the scripts here and encourage you to check out um, some platformer tutorials. There are plenty out there on YouTube and on Scratch. Um, but the basic concept of this idea of having your objects be movable and that you can interact with them sort of it works in this real-time sort of game creation. Um, so I'd encourage you to check that out. And all of the projects that I've shared with you, um, I'll provide a link in the description of the video or even at the end of this video so you can check it out and remix. Um, and so I wish everyone um, a, a great time creating and tinkering with uh, the video sensing and color detection. It's really remarkable to see what it is you can make. <laughs>